All right. Can you guys hear me? All right. Thanks for uh, stopping by. I think we have more people coming in. <laughs> Uh, so today we are going to talk about cloud uh, operations and security and just a little bit of introduction about um, WAN clouds. And uh, I will also give you a little bit of a demo of our uh, platform. So we specifically focus on uh, the day two operations uh, when it comes to OpenStack. So our goal is to improve the availability and visibility of your OpenStack deployment through a platform that is simple, scalable, and flexible. We started a couple of years ago. Uh, we provide both services, and also we have been working on our uh, platform that I will share with you in a, uh, in, a, in a little bit. We're based in Santa Clara, and we have uh, global offices as well. So the problems that we have been trying to solve is that once your OpenStack is deployed, um, Somebody is going to be stuck with it on 24 by 7 uh, basis as day two operations. Problems will occur. OpenStack is not one of those things where uh, you just deploy it and forget about it. People are going to be touching it on an ongoing basis. And as they do, problems will occur. So the goal here is that how do you quickly resolve the issues? Uh, how do you set up proactive checks? How do you make sure that the services that you have that are enabled through your OpenStack, are they working as expected? Currently, basically, the biggest problem is that a lot of these things are done manually. And obviously, as you do things manually, problems will occur. And more importantly, it costs a lot of money, too. So it affects your overall availability because things take a long time, and they're done uh, through manual effort. So what we believe is that is it really uh, uh, necessary to every time find a needle when a problem occurs to find a needle in a haystack? Can we give you a magnet instead of basically every single time uh, uh, go through finding that magnet? So there are three things that uh, we uh, attempted to solve that I will share in the demo. One of the uh, areas is uh, log analysis. So when a problem occurs, you can collect a log, which could be for a single component like Nova or Cinder or Neutron. Uh, and, and, and we have uh, been able to build a custom algorithm to give you the answer literally in 30 to seconds to a couple of minutes. Things that takes three hours or four hours today, manually going through those logs, will do it in 30 seconds. The, other uh, area for us is services assurance, which is uh, very important because you want to make sure that the services that you have enabled are running as you are expecting them to run. The other um, area is setting up proactive checks and rules. Because OpenStack is something that people are going to be touching every single uh, day, if not uh, every single day, at least uh, a couple of times a week, uh, you want to make sure that nobody goes and, and changes something that causes a problem, and then you're trying to basically troubleshoot and, 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 uh, uh, and discover what and who changed uh, which configuration uh, parameter. So as I mentioned, three uh, areas that we are looking at. One is basically the uh, analytics part, and that's where we say why, why every single time look for uh, a needle in a haystack, why we will give you a magnet. The second thing is, from our uh, perspective, when it comes to assurance, when something goes uh, wrong, can we give you, can you, give you uh, an ability to set up these assurance tests before it becomes a crisis, right? Um, can I give you uh, the tools to discover if something goes wrong, that you have a, a, a warning? Uh, the other area is that it's your cloud. You set your rules, what's important to you. And, and, and we will, every few seconds, we're going to track those rules. So if anybody goes in and mucks around with your configuration, we're going to report it and get, uh, get you an alert. So what we believe is that with this process, we will, uh, uh, so far what we have looked at is like getting a time reduced from hours to literally seconds and minutes. We will give you 95% plus productivity gain of what you're dealing with with your OpenStack uh, deployment issues uh, today. And that is through analytics. It takes, uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, 
when problems occur, on average, you spend an hour or two to troubleshoot. If I can get you to a quick diagnosis, literally in seconds and a minute, that gives you a huge productivity gain. And more importantly, it enables the, uh, or improves the availability of the uh, deployment or the, uh, whether it's uh, uh, in your uh, development uh, testing environment or in pre-production or production, we give you a lot more um, insight as to what probably caused the issue. The second thing is the assurance. You set it up once. You don't have to have resources locked every single day trying to basically run scripts. We have automated that process. And the other area is compliance where you set your rules once against your deployment, and we will go and track those rules on, a, on an ongoing basis. So in every area, we the overall idea is to give you increased visibility and predictability about your OpenStack deployment. So we specifically, again, are focusing on the day two operation. Now, what versions do we support? We support all the community versions. Um, as far as the log analysis is concerned, we are uh, working on um, uh, Mitaka, but uh, from Ice House all the way to Liberty, we support them. We have also, you can deploy your um, uh, OpenStack through, for example, Mirantas Fuel, or you can have Red Hat distribution, or you know, any other distributions out there. We will go ahead and, and support it. This platform is SaaS based, so you can go ahead and try it out today. Uh, and this is, we have defined packages for it, and you can, uh, on chaiapp.net or whenclouds.net. The other area, uh, obviously, we also provide services in addition to uh, the platform that we have um, around OpenStack, containers and dockers, as well as uh, cloud services. So I'm going to actually switch to uh, give you a little bit of how the platform actually looks. So give me a second. OK. So this is how uh, our platform uh, looks. Uh, what you see here is, in this case, let's say there is a problem that you experienced. Uh, through log analysis, we give you, shorten your time to basically get to the diagnosis of the issue. Um, in this case, in this log file, you see three uh, components we detected, uh, Cinder, uh, Neutron, and Nova. And if you look at it, the way we are actually um, tracking the failures, obviously, in this summary, uh, things that are successful you are not obviously interested in, uh, things that are not successful, like the API calls that didn't go uh, successful or core service errors, is what we are going to look at, right? So for example, if you look at one of this call, uh, which was a launch instance, things started to go fine. And what we show you here is uh, at some stage, uh, which we were expecting this uh, statement in your log and in this sequence, and we didn't see it. And we list the core service error alongside that as well. So this process, uh, essentially, I'm going to try to actually see if I can upload a file here. It's this quick. These are the versions that we are supporting that we have um, uh, looked at, including Red Hat, including all the community versions. As I mentioned, you can have a private distribution through, uh, whether it's uh, uh, through Red Hat or others, um, Mirantas, et cetera. Uh, we have tested it against all these uh, community-based uh, distributions, and it works just fine. Uh, in this case, I've just taken a file where uh, there was an issue and I'm going to try to analyze it, and I just want to uh, share it with you that how quick, instead of you going through thousands of lines of uh, log files, I can quickly diagnose um, uh, the issue and uh, give you basically the analysis that you're looking for. So the same file I was showing earlier, which gave me the analysis, and I can quickly now go to the root cause analysis uh, of the issue. The other areas that we have is, uh, from integration perspective, you can add your deployments uh, by just providing, for example, auth URL, a username and password. And you can give it whatever name you want to give it. And it takes literally two, three seconds to add your deployment, however fast you can type. Uh, we also have done integration with Logstash. So one is you can actually upload your uh, log file, or we can uh, have you integrate your logs test server, and we will be able to pull log files from uh, there as well. The third tab that you see here uh, is you can actually share your deployment with uh, uh, other colleagues or your partner as well. And in this case, uh, I could share, if I have, for example, in this case, I have four deployments. I can share 
uh, one of the deployment with, uh, with, with my colleague, and this way I'm able to collaborate with him on service tests and other things. So in, in the case of assurance, basically what we provide um, uh, is um, this we actually built on top of uh, Rayleigh to make this very consumable, right? Um, we will extract all the components that you're running in your OpenStack deployment. And um, as you look at the uh, various um, uh, components, you can enable, for example, whatever tests that you uh, feel are important to, uh, to you. For example, just for test purposes, I've enabled these, uh, uh, these tests. And uh, you can configure them to your parameters. You can set an SLA here. So for example, SLA could be that I want 100% of the time uh, this should pass, or it could be 95% or 98%. Uh, the other thing that what we have done is you can uh, tweak the values here. Um, this is, uh, you can set your benchmark. And as, it, um, as you are done with it, you can either run the test on demand, or you can actually schedule it. So schedule means that twice a day, right now the way we have configured it is twice a day, it will go out and run these tests. So if there is a problem, you will get an alert through email. And uh, uh, this way, uh, in case uh, there is th that issue, before your customer reports it or before your user reports that issue and it becomes a crisis, uh, we make sure that uh, in case there is a failure, we give you, like in this case, I can give you full details of the failure, uh, and you will see the last five failures and, and what, what actually happened. So uh, as I mentioned, uh, the other advantage here is that you set your profile once, uh, your uh, infrastructure or your things will actually change, right? You can go add more functionality to your deployment, you can enable more uh, components, and as you do that, the, 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 the profile that we have set, the tests that you have set, always remain centralized. So you don't need to go change any scripts here, this is done once. And the whole idea here is that I can actually save you time and the DevOps person or one or two people that you have assigned to this, um, all of a sudden we can actually free them up. So the whole idea here is that from our perspective, we want to take the manual efforts out of the day-to-day -day things and give you tremendous productivity gain, right? Uh, by doing this automatic, do it once. You can tweak them as you go along, or if your benchmarks change, you can go ahead and make the adjustments. But once you make the adjustments, you don't have to go every single day. Uh, uh, and you can schedule these uh, tests, which will run uh, uh, as scheduled, and then you can also enable them on demand. The other uh, thing that we have here is um, uh, what we call uh, operational rules. And in the operational rules, we define basically key pair values. And in key pair values, what happens is uh, there is OpenStack has very big config files. So against each deployment that you have, um, I could, for example, uh, uh, set up uh, values that, uh, and I'm just going to try to configure something here. Uh, this is false, uh, default, it's a Boolean, and it's like a controller node. And I'm basically saying, go track this, right? So every five seconds or every few seconds, it's going to go and, and make sure that this values remain the same. The reason we did this, that when a problem happens, what is the first natural question that people ask? Who went ahead and who changed what? So this is actually to create an answer for that. Um, and, and, and through us tracking these operational rules, in case somebody goes and has changed uh, something, it, we will actually tell you, we will create an alert and through this alert, you can say that, hey, you know, my expected value was false, and by the way, you know, actually nothing is set. So that's why it became, uh, it became an error. So, so again, uh, our intent here is to make sure that uh, we make the uh, environment that you have or the deployment that you have uh, highly predictable and uh, make sure that it is available through these uh, values. The other area which is actually as a beta for us right now that we are looking at, which is critical VMs. And what this really means is that in your deployment, either you could actually look at a tenant or you could actually get a subset of uh, uh, instances or machines 
that you feel are running your uh, production application. And, and the question here is that if anything goes wrong with any of those machines, I want to know instantly. Right? So here, we are providing um, uh, visibility uh, related to that um, specific question. And like, as I mentioned, this is in, uh, in beta phase right now. But we will give you full audit of those uh, machines if there is an error associated with that. For example, in this case, these alerts are coming in. And if I basically go to the, one of the alerts, I can tell you the exact error trace, the instance ID, the user that it belongs to, and I can give you a full audit trail of that VM. When was it created? When was the f uh, an error that uh, occurred? And when was the instance uh, uh, deleted? So this gives you uh, a full um, uh, picture and visibility of uh, what is happening in your environment, especially the critical uh, VMs, or if you have an important tenant, that you say, if anything happens with this tenant, I need to know instantly. If any VM fails, uh, or if any of the, uh, if you're migrating VMs from one uh, uh, hypervisor to the next, and uh, during that process, if something fails, we are tracking all of that. And in this case, it's instant. So within that second it, as it happens, we are actually ingesting a lot of data from the deployment. And uh, we are making sure that, that we report it as soon as uh, these things happen. So the whole idea of chai is to, it literally the meaning is the word chai tea, is uh, grab a cup of chai, sit back, relax, and let us do the hard work uh, for you. Let us try to remove the manual efforts. Let us try to remove, uh, you know, shorten the time that it takes to do some of these things because today I can tell you that a lot of these things, and we have uh, felt it ourselves, this happens manually. So we are trying to re automate a lot of the things, make the environment more predictable. At the end of the day, we want to increase the availability of your OpenStack deployment. So you can add them, you can add from a single pane of uh, glass, you can perform all these functions. So people have written like small tools here and there, but that doesn't give you a common interface and a common place to actually get your answers. So this is to provide both reactive and proactive support for your OpenStack deployment and worry about the day two issues and problems that are, uh, uh, that are occurring. Um, again, we are, we are uh, striving to make more additions to this platform in terms of uh, um, real-time analytics as it happens. Um, and we believe that with what we have today, we can make your life a lot easier, especially if, if you are in the DevOps and support role, uh, to make sure that uh, the environment is highly predictable. We do have a booth uh, in one of the um, right uh, corners, I believe it's B16. And uh, please do come by, we, will, we can discuss in more uh, detail with you uh, on some of the um, uh, areas or components that we have built, how you can add uh, uh, your deployments, uh, how we can actually do this. Uh, uh, today, this is a s software as a service. So you can go sign up and uh, start using uh, by going to chaiapp.net or vanclouds.net. From either side, you can go to, uh, to sign up. We have a 30-day trial package uh, that you can uh, start using. Uh, the other thing that we have also is to uh, in case you require a private deployment, we can create that also in a SaaS manner, but uh, private to you, both front end and back end will be private, and you can attach your deployments. The other um, thing that we have is some customers have asked us to see if we can uh, deploy this on-prem, and we do have that model uh, uh, as well. So with this, uh, I'm going to wrap up my uh, session, and if there is any question or uh, comment, as I mentioned, please do feel free to uh, uh, to come by our cube. We are uh, here for the next whatever time today. Uh, the time is left in the summit. Uh, and um, also you can contact us uh, through our uh, website. And also we can, would be happy to share more details with you uh, if you have any queries. Okay? Thank you very much.